Good evening, guys. Today I had a request to make a tutorial around setting up PC games. So let's get started. Alright guys, uh, the PC games uh, setup uh, is a little confusing at first, but once you, uh, you know, set up a few of them, uh, it's uh, really not too bad. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, I went ahead and opened up uh, Rocket Launcher uh, UI. Uh, this is the guts behind Hyperspin. And if I go to Global and then Emulators, I'm going to scroll down to PC Launcher. And if I double click that, uh, this is how I've got it set up and I just named it PC Launcher and uh, the module is set to the Rocket Launcher folder, modules, PC Launcher, and then the auto hotkey uh, that should come uh, pre-installed with your Rocket Launcher uh, UI setup. Uh, everything else is left blank. Uh, I now I'm not sure if this was already here or not, uh, but all you you need to do is if you don't see PC Launcher already here uh, needing to be set up, then just click the plus sign here to add a new emulator and uh, just type PC Launcher and put in the module path that, uh, that I just described. Um, so now, uh, once you've set up the global emulator here, I'm gonna scroll down to uh, PC uh, games here. And again, under the uh, emulator folder, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna select this default emulator to PC Launcher. You'll click that. And uh, below here, you can ignore that. That uh, doesn't do anything here. So just uh, set the PC Launcher default emulator here and uh, you should be good to go. Um, if you go to the settings tab, uh, something to point out here, uh, what I tend to do with PC games is I suspend the front end. This basically um, prevents Hyperspin from uh, basically conflicting with the game that uh, ends up getting launched. Uh, but that's a user preference there. Um, also, um, when you guys are uh, testing these games, it might be a good idea to turn off Fade. So if I'm under Settings tab here and then go to Fade General, uh, yeah, I, I would basically just turn off fade out here. I would make that false uh, just because some games uh, will hang when you try to close them. I, I've got that set to false always for PC games and then fade in. Uh, what I would do is change that enabled uh, to false until you know that uh, your PC game is actually up and running. Uh, but I, I've got this set to user global, which is uh, set to yes. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to modules now under this uh, PC games here and you see PC launcher here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little uh, paper icon to edit global module settings. And what you're going to see is a list of all the games that are currently set up up here at the top. And when you uh, want to add a new game, you're going to hit this plus sign. And what you're going to find is um, in the window here, these are games that are in your database, but they are not um, actually set up. Uh, so all you've got to do is you're going to double click the, the name here. And you're going to see that that shows up here. And the application, what you're going to do is just point to the, uh, the game that you've got and uh, something to note um, most games don't require this additional setup but uh, some games will uh, basically force you to open other applications or wait for something else to happen um, so i'll sh kind of show that off in, uh, here in a second so i'm gonna find this game and i'm just gonna double click it so now it shows up in the application now this game in particular um, basically needs Steam uh, running. So what I can do is um, 
it, it needs Steam running first, and then the game will uh, run. If I go to pre-post-launch uh, tab here, and I go to pre-launch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my Steam uh, application. And once I've done that, uh, what this is going to ultimately do um, is it's going to wait for Steam to launch. And then once that launches, then it's going to launch the game. So that, that's just what it requires uh, for this one game. But I'd say 99% of the time, well, it, it just depends on how um, your games are set up. Uh, you might need Steam to launch every single time. Um, but, you know, for the most part, you can just push the plus sign, select your game, and then select the application, so the XE file. And then once you've done that, um, you just hit this uh, launcher button here, and that will uh, test the game. And if you have any errors, uh, obviously you'll have to troubleshoot there. But if, uh, you know, you, pl you push the, the rocket button here and it launches, then you know it's set up and it's good to go. So uh, once you've uh, confirmed that that is working, all you've got to do is X out and uh, you've set up that uh, PC game. Um, so that that's all there is to it within uh, Rocket Launcher UI. Uh, but you might notice when you are in this edit global module settings, uh, if you push the plus sign and there's no game here and you're like, well, I installed the game, it's not there. Well, uh, what you've got to do is add it to the database. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to keep those folders open because I'll be talking about them in a second. I'm going to go to Hyperspin databases and I'm going to go to PC launcher or I think mine's called PC Games. And here's my database. Um, so the PC Games, you're likely going to be creating one from scratch. So I'm just gonna edit the XML. And what I do is I just go to the very bottom. And what I do is I just copy the items between uh, game um, and game. I'm just gonna basically copy that, paste it underneath it so it creates another instance, and then I end up changing the game name, which is the actual XE file name, and then the description is whatever I want to call it. And I tend to just leave the rest as is, uh, at least for PC games, because uh, it, you know, doesn't really pertain to me for the meta metadata um, there. So then once I've done that, what I'll do is I'll copy the edit that I just did. And since I know this is a fighting game, what I'll do is I'll go to my fighting XML, this is the genre, and then I'll just do the same thing. I'll just go to the very bottom and then I'll paste it in to the very bottom. So that's how um, I get them in my database and that's how I get the plus sign in Rocket Launcher to populate uh, here. Uh, what else? So within the Rocket Launcher setup, this default emulator, PC Launcher, if you don't have that set up already, um, remember we pointed that to an auto hotkey within a uh, rocket launcher, but we also need to set up a uh, PC launcher within uh, HyperHQ. So I'm gonna swing over to HyperHQ and I've gone to PC games already. And you'll see that the execution is uh, hyper launch and PC games is enabled and the executable is the PC Launcher XE file. And the command line preview is hyperlaunch XE uh, PC games, PC game name. Um, so all we've got to do from here is just point it to the XE file that uh, I have here. And I will be posting uh, this on the mega file and yeah, it shouldn't be hard coded to my path, but let me know if uh, it is. Uh, you will get an error if it is, but I'm like 99% sure that uh, it is agnostic for the path. So I, I just dropped that in the emulator folder and I created a PC launcher folder and I dropped the PC XE file in there. Um, so you're almost done guys. And what you're gonna wanna do is, um, you know, test the games before you do anything. I did want to pull up some of the other uh, 
any files. Uh, just to kind of show you, uh, you know, what's happening here um, on the back end. But for the, you know, the gist of everything, uh, you've successfully set up a PC game. And uh, you'll want to make sure that you get a theme if it is available on the Hyperspin website uh, for that PC game. And you'll also need to more than likely create a trailer or, uh, uh, you know, download a trailer from YouTube. Uh, for your game, for the video snap, and you'll have to create a uh, a wheel as well, uh, just to make it all look pretty in hyperspin. Uh, but anyway, uh, without further ado, the uh, last few things I wanted to show you is if you go to hyperspin, rocket launcher, and then the settings folder, you're going to find this global emulators ini folder, or sorry, ini uh, file, and you're going to see that basically everything that you set up in Rocket Launcher already. Uh, when you did the global settings, uh, the PC Launcher, it's just pointing to the uh, PC Launcher auto hotkey, which came with your uh, Rocket Launcher setup. I just wanna kind of show you that. And also within Rocket Launcher, uh, since we're talking about it, if you go to modules and you go down to PC Launcher, you're gonna find a, a few things here. Uh, the PC INI, this uh, file is basically everything that you had chosen within the plus sign of Rocket Launcher. So when you push the plus sign, you select the game and then you put in the application path. Uh, all that's uh, showing up here. Um, so if you don't wanna go through the GUI, uh, that interface that we were just looking at, you could just go straight to this PC Launcher INI uh, file and just slap it in at the bottom. Uh, but just note that it's a strong possibility a number of your other systems um, are using uh, uh, PC Launcher, uh, possibly. So just be careful with that. And what else do I want to show you? Um, there are some uh, pre-game or pre-loading scripts in the great, uh, game scripts folder. Uh, there are some games that really just need that pre-script uh, to launch. Uh, the game successfully uh, very cleanly uh, you can see there are some custom ones that i've done here um, also if you've got a uh, aim track uh, light guns uh, you'll want uh, you know these xe files here for uh, house of the dead uh, three at least or, well in my case um, yeah it was just house of the dead but it just allows you to cleanly launch uh, some of these games uh, also under the PC Launcher Auto Hotkey, I'll kind of pull this up. And this is just a uh, food for thought in general. Uh, it does help uh, under this M system uh, row here. If you wanted to add a new system to this uh, PC Launcher for it to be selectable as the default uh, emulator here, like if I click this magnifying glass, um, these uh, emulator lists are essentially a mirror image of uh, what we got going on here. And you're gonna see that you know, I could have added, well, I did add uh, some of these systems at the end because I wanted them to also use PC Launcher um, as I set things up. Um, you see uh, PS3, um, that will be a later tutorial, but um, yeah, it, it you know, it's very powerful here. And uh, I just wanted to call out that M system. Uh, you can add uh, additional systems with a comma and then use the uh, quotations. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, that is uh, setting up uh, a PC game. I hope that was uh, sufficient enough. Uh, you see the ROM paths are always blank. Um, also in the games tab within the uh, Rocket Launcher UI, when you audit, everything's gonna be in red. Uh, that is normal, there's just no system checks uh, to look at these guys. And uh, yeah, guys, that is uh, PC Launcher. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I could possibly uh, mention here. And uh, I'm not thinking there's anything left. So yeah, guys, uh, leave uh, comments uh, below and uh, please share. Uh, like and uh, subscribe. So uh, till next time, guys.